Hold on a second. Hi, Sam. Hi, Riley. Can you get that, Riley? My shift's just starting. I haven't even sat down yet. Can't. I've already got another on the line. You do? Yeah, I've got them on hold. And this is going to be one of those shifts, isn't it? Could be. Okay, okay, I'll answer. Good evening, Nottingham Sheriff's Department non-emergency line. Sam speaking. How can I help you tonight? Uh, yes, yes, uh, someone's broken into my house. Oh dear, are they still there? Uh, no, this was actually a couple of weeks ago, you see. And you're just calling now? Well, at the time, we didn't really think anything of it, you know? You didn't think anything of someone breaking into your house? Well, she ran off screaming, see? Uh, the last we saw of her, she was screaming her pretty little head off and running straight for the trees. You scared her off? Well, I'm a bit of a bear, right? As in you're a bit of a grouch or as in you've got claws and fur? The second one. Me, my wife, our kid, we're all bears. So most folk, they think twice about messing with my family and thieves certainly don't come back. So she stole from you as well? I can have the sheriff send an officer from the Nottingham detachment. And... Oh, I don't think that's necessary. All she took is about three bites of porridge and must the covers on the beds a little. I don't think we need any officers for that. So this intruder broke in, had lunch, took a nap, and then you scared her off yourself. Do I have that right? That's about the size of it, yeah. And you don't want to press charges or have officers arrest her or anything? Well, it's awful hard to begrudge a bowl of porridge to a little girl like she was and desperate enough to steal it. Look, what exactly are you calling for? Oh, well, uh, she's going about saying some horrible things about her home. She's telling everybody her chairs are too hard, her beds are too lumpy, stuff like that. Uh, and, uh... Well, it's rude, isn't it? This is a small community and she's ruining our reputation. With all of her friends and neighbors. No one wants to come visit since she started telling folks that I only make good porridge a third of the time. Right. I, I can see how that would be a problem. I I'm just not sure that's a matter for the sheriff's department. I thought maybe you could, uh, I don't know, ask her to stop. Uh, make her admit that she liked my cup's porridge enough to eat it after all. Something like that. Is that something you could do? No. Uh, right. Right. Well, I just thought I should ask. It can't hurt to ask, isn't that what they say? Uh, thanks for calling. Phew, some folks, Riley, I tell you. You're telling me I've had this caller, Lady Clorinda, on, on the line screeching for nearly 20 minutes about a suspiciously generous friar. Suspiciously generous? How's that? Apparently the friar has started a soup kitchen. Isn't that the sort of thing friars are supposed to do? Well, yes, but this caller wants to know where he's getting the money to buy food for poor people. She thinks he's up to something nefarious because he's feeding the hungry? Here, I'll, I'll take her off hold. Just, just listen to this, Sam. Are you still there, ma'am? Yes, I am, but I'm beginning to find your attitude very vexing. This is a very serious matter. Oh, very serious. That's why I want to make sure I understand exactly what you're saying. Tell me again about this friar's scheme. I don't know what his scheme is. But he's in league with that outlaw, the one who accosts travelers in Sherwood Forest. Right, the Sherwood Forest outlaw. Nasty chap he is. He's a no-account thief, and that friar is in cahoots with him. I swear it. Yes, so you've said a lot, but can you prove it? I would think that my word as a noble lady of the court would be proof enough. Hmm. Okay, ma'am. I will have to check with our guidelines on what constitutes proof. Please hold. Wait. How many times have you put her on hold so far? Three. I'm hoping she'll wear herself out complaining eventually. Have you tried to... How about you try whatever you like with Lady Clorinda, and I'll take the next call. Sure thing. <laughs> Good evening, Nottingham Sheriff's non-emergency line. What seems to be the problem? We're all doomed to financial ruin. That's the problem. 
You did hear me say non-emergency line, friend. Doom is a bit above our pay grade. You think you're the first person I've called? You're my last hope here. So you're just going to have to do, okay? Well, I'll certainly try my best. What's wrong? The economy is collapsing around here. That's what's wrong. Okay. I'm going to ask one more time, and you're going to tell me the specific reason you're calling, or I'm going to hang up, and we'll just have to go on being doomed. Now, what is the problem? It's all that new princess and her funny ideas. Talks to animals, she does. And the kicker is, they all seem to understand her. It's eerie is what it is. And what's worse, ever since his highness married her and brought her home, all the courtiers have gone off meat. Gone off meat? They're all, what do you call it, veterinarians now. Oh, and, and did you used to be the only veterinarian in town? Is that what you meant by economic ruin? I'm no veterinarian. How could I be? I'm a butcher. Right, I guess it would be a little unusual to be both. I've never sell something I wouldn't eat myself. Wouldn't eat? Oh, oh you, you mean they're all vegetarians now? That's what I said, isn't it? Okay, well, I can see how this would be a problem for you, but I'm not sure how we can help. Isn't there some kind of law against using unnat doing unnatural things like talking to animals and convincing folks to eat not but vegetables? <laughs> no, not that I'm aware of anyway. Not nodding him, that's for sure. Well, there ought to be. Aha, uh -huh. right. Who are you talking to, Sam? Layla Kurlarinda. I'm going to look into that straight away. Be that you do. I'm not someone to trifle with. I am Lady Clorinda of Gaunt, and I know that that friar is up to no good. He's using dark money to fund his criminal activities. I just know it, and I will not be kept waiting. Oh, certainly not, my lady. Please hold. <phone rings> Sorry, Riley. I got sick of listening to her, so I turned down the volume on her and just said, of course, my lady, a whole bunch. She didn't seem to notice. But she doesn't seem to be tiring out either, does she? Ah, uh, well, maybe we can put keep putting her off until shift change. Make her someone else's problem. Speaking of problems, I can take this one. Good evening. You've reached the non-emergency line for... Sake of the children! I, I beg your pardon? Oh, sorry. I was speaking to someone else before. Not very helpful. They told me I needed the uh, non-emergency line. Well, you're in luck then, because that's who you've got. What can we do for you? I don't know if you can do much. No one seems to be able to help. No one seems to be thinking of the children. They just see me as an overprotective mother. They're not listening to your concerns? Precisely. You see, it all started when the witch moved in and built herself a house made of all things candy. Oh, well, we actually had a report that that witch has been taken care of. If she's returned... Uh, I wish. We have never had problems when the witch lived there. Problems like what? We can't keep them away from the house. You can't res they can't resist biting out of the place. Now that the witch is gone, she used to scare them right off and nice and quick. But the present owners just laugh and pick up their peppermint paneling and spearmint siding. Well, at least the children aren't in danger anymore. Not in danger. Every stinking one of my babies has cavities in all their teeth. Well, perhaps you could suggest a fence? Oh, they have a fence, all right. Then... How are you? It's made out of candy canes held together by chocolate frosting. Right. Well, this does sound like a rather attractive nuisance. I'll send a couple of deputies around to talk to the present owners, shall I? See if we can work something out? Oh, thank you. Thank you for thinking of the children. Just doing my job, ma'am. Good evening. Just doing your job. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Hey, laugh if you want, but I'm just grateful to actually help someone after spending so long on the phone with her ladyship. It feels nice.
<laughs> well, all right. You babysit lady conspiracy theory, and I'll try and give this next caller the same loving assistance you provide. You're hilarious, Sam. And you're so earnest it hurts. Now, hush, give me a chance to be a do-gooder like you. Good evening, Nottingham Sheriff's. Yes, yes. I've got a question about zoning. Well, what are you building? I can direct you to the correct... I'm not building anything. The nerve of you. I'm sorry, ma'am, but what are you... It's them pigs. They're building all the time. Do you mean literal or... Oh, first, it was the straw. And, and we said nothing. Seemed harmless, a little quaint. Added a bit of atmosphere, even. Then what? Not that it lasted, of course. They moved on to sticks, and that was an eyesore. But still nothing of what came next. Once they started that brick house, oh, you never heard such a racket. If you'd like to make a noise complaint, I can actually transfer you it's to the... It's not the noise. It's not. It's that we're not zoned for agriculture construction. Ah, oh, so you did mean literal pigs. Can I suggest that you... Uh, of course, with the pigs came the wolf. Oh, the wolf is your problem. Then you need to speak to the woodsman department. They handle wolf-related activity. It's not the wolf. It's the zoning. We're not zoned for wolves or pig houses. Listen, I'm going to level with you. The zoning angle isn't going to get you anywhere. Between you and me, the whole zoning committee is on the take. Now, if you've got a wolf... That's not something the sheriff is going to ignore. It's not? No, not since the incident last month with the little girl and her grandma. So you tell them about the wolf, they send someone out, and maybe in the process of the investigation, something gets done about the zoning. Understand? Right. Uh, sure, you can transfer me to the woodsman. Please hold for the woodsman. So, oh, do you feel like you made a difference? Well, I feel like I'm no longer stuck on the phone with that hypoactive Yahoo. Well, that's a start, I suppose. Hold on, I'm just going to check on... And another thing. Why do you never seem to see Lord Robin of Loxley in the same room as the bandits? That's highly... Still going strong, huh? Yep. You take this one, Riley. Sounds like you could use the warm, fuzzy, helping people feeling. Aw, oh, thanks, Sam. This is not AM Sheriff's non-emergency line. How can we help? Oh, um, yes. Hi. I was just wondering if there was, like, a new toll bridge, maybe? A new toll bridge? Hmm. I don't, I don't think so. What area are you talking about? Um, around the point where the river empty, empties into Lake Lively. Uh, right on the path to the village school. Well, there is a bridge there, but I'm not showing any toll for crossing it. Uh, hmm. Well, how about, have you heard any reports about a troll? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I must have misheard you. I thought you were having a toll bridge problem, not a troll bri bridge problem. It's a good thing we cleared this up. There's a very different solutions to those two issues. Uh, okay, right. So one solution involves a lot more pitchforks and the other, well, I guess I suppose you could take care of a toll problem with a pitchfork too in a pinch. Anyway, do you have a pitchfork of your own or would you like a few deputies to take care of the troll? Actually, I, I'm still not totally sure it's a troll that's causing the uh, problem. Oh? Can I be totally honest with you? It's usually faster when you are. <sighs> so my sister got caught up in an epic quest. Had to go herring off after a golden goose or something. I'm not exactly sure of the details. Anyway, she's got me looking after her kid, my nephew. His name is Zaf. It's a weird name, I know. But he's a sweet kid, uh, I think. You think? Well, uh, honestly, I don't know if he's sweet because I can't understand a word he says. We uh, had a bit of a mishap with a spell book early in the, on in, in the arrangement, and Zaf got cursed so he can only speak backward. 
backward. Yep, totally draw cap. Anyway, Zap, or as he calls himself now, Faz, he goes to school in the village, and somewhere between leaving home and his and school, his lunch money keeps disappearing. Only I can't understand what Zaf is trying to tell me happened to it. I see. At first, I thought he was trying to tell me a bully took it, and I went off on a bit of a quest myself, trying to find the bully goats that were picking on my nephew, only to get laughed at and asked if I wasn't sure I wasn't looking for billy goats, which I was. Only they were real nice fellas, not the ones taking Zaf's money at all. So then Zaf started talking about either a lot bridge or a lort bridge, and here we are. Here we are indeed. I want to help Zaf, of course, but I also want to avoid being laughed at again, if possible. Tell you what, I'm going to dispatch a fairy godmother to see if we can what we can do about lifting the curse. I think that best addresses the root of your problem. That would be swell. Just make sure to wish on the first star you see tonight so she can find you. Uh, thank you, I will. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Sounds like you had another good call. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lady Clorinda has moved on to listing all her stolen trinkets in exhaustive detail. Seriously? And that one had gold filigree as well. Oh, and there was a rosary once owned by Queen Guinevere that was entirely irreplaceable. Now, I can't say for certain that the bandit took it, but it is certainly true I have not seen it since that day, though it is possible that my lady's maid made off with it. She was a dishonest, disagreeable sort. If you ask me, she had the look of a thief about her. Something shifty. I didn't ask you, actually. Maybe you'd better take this one, Sam. I've been putting off Lady Clorinda for long enough now. Good luck, Riley. Nottingham Sheriff's non-emergency. There's a thief in my garden! What? Right now? Let me put you to, to the emergency department. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not there now, but he was. And he stole all my lettuce. Are we talking like the actual vegetable here? Like regular old salad lettuce? Oh, no, no. This was special lettuce. Special how? Well, it's a very rare Rapunzel lettuce. I've been tending it, and now it's all gone, stolen away in the night. Right, okay. Uh, do you happen to live in Farmer Brown's neighborhood? Because we've had some reports of this type of trouble caused by a young rabbit named Peter. Now he's a bit of a scamp, but really he's just- This is not the work of a mere rabbit. It's the man next door. He stole the lettuce for his wife. I know it. Could you see him? My crows told me. Right. And do you think it's at all possible that the crows are in league with the rabbit? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'll, I'll solve this problem myself. Ma'am, I have to warn you, if you're plotting to commit a crime. Oh, who said anything about a crime? I'm just going to have a discussion with my neighbor. Just my neighbor and me. And my wand. <laughs> right. Uh, can I ask you, do you feel like I've helped you tonight? Well, you've helped me decide to take matters into my own hands. I'm going to call that a win. Congratulations, Sam. How's it going with Lady Clorinda? You're just in time to hear. I want the friar arrested. I want his soup kitchen shut down. I want his soup seized in evidence. I want... Lady Clorinda, I regret to inform you that this is the official position of the Nottingham Sheriff's Department that there is insufficient evidence to pursue your baseless accusations against a man of God and his charitable works. But he's in league with that bandit Robin Hood. Goodbye, ma'am. Whoa. I know. How did that feel? It felt good. As good as helping people? Almost. Maybe you should try telling people off rather than helping them. It does suit my skill set better. You want that one? Yeah, but to help or harangue? 
That is the question. What are you going to do? Maybe I'll flip a coin. Good evening. You've reached Nottingham Sheriff's Department non-emergency line. Evening. Right. So I have a question of a hypothetical nature. You understand. Harangue it is. Uh-huh. Nothing. What's your question? Well, it's not illegal to own a pet, is it? No, it is not. Good, good. So, hypothetically speaking, how does your town define a pet? Um, well, Nottingham doesn't have an uh, official list, but then if you're talking your usual dogs, fish, gerbils, I, I don't think you have a problem. Talk bigger than gerbils. Like a cat? Bigger. Like a lion? No. Oh, thank God. Talk less hair. Well, like I said, we have no specific laws. So if you and your hairless lion keep to yourselves and don't bother anyone, then... What if I had many hairless lions? Well... What if I had so many hairless lions that there were extras? Would I be permitted to give these to my friends? Um... And what if I... My friends were so grateful for their new pets that they wanted to give me something in exchange. Would this be permitted? That's um, getting into more of a gray area. Well, what if I only gift the eggs before the lions hatch? Then who's to say what comes of the eggs? Maybe my friends get lovely hairless lions to guard their houses. Maybe not. Is that less gray? Sir, you cannot sell dragons or dragon eggs in Nottingham. Okay, okay. I'll try Camelot then. Riley! Yeah, Sam? Tonight is not my night. Seems not. Here we go again. I'll take it. You just sit back for a minute. Ah, oh, thanks, Riley. Good evening, Nottingham Sheriff Department's non-emergency line. How can we help? Yes, hello. I'd like to report a gross health code violation. Oh, what's going on? Well, I was at my seamstress's today, and her shop was positively teeming with rats. Oh, dear, that is serious. Well, wait, is this the seamstress on Drury Lane? Why, yes. Oh, we're actually aware of that situation, and, and they aren't actually rats. They're mice. Is that supposed to be any better? They're still vermin. Actually, they aren't vermin. They're employees. What? The mice work there. You know that new princess, the one with the real sweet smile? Well, she recommended them, and now there's a mouse in nearly every tailor and dressmaker shop in the village. I'm sorry, but that's preposterous. That's progress for you. Oh, well, can I report the shop owners for animal cruelty or something? The mice are actually very well compensated. She hung up on me. Uh, maybe that's her calling back. Um, hello? Hello, who is this? Uh, this is the Nottingham... The uh, Sheriff's Department, Sher right? Yes, uh, how can we help? My husband has changed. Um, I'm sorry? I don't need sorry, I need him fixed. Uh, um, well, uh, what, what's wrong with him? He's changed. Yes, you said that. Changed how? Into a spatula. What? Well, he works at that bloody castle in the kitchen, see? And usually he comes home and tells me about his day and we have supper and it's nice. That does sound nice. It was. Only one night last week, he came home, and he was a spatula. Um, right, and you're certain this spatula is your husband? Well, he says he is. Oh, oh, he's an enchanted spatula. Well, yes, if a person is suddenly a spatula, of course he is. He's not a natural spatula. Of course, I'm sorry, I'm caught up now. Can you tell me if anyone else has been affected by this enchantment? Well, a neighbor of ours might be a bit more like an accordion than usual. 
uh, more like an accordion. How? Well, he was always a noisy, annoying bloke, but now he's got keys and the likes. Oh, so very much like an accordion then. I suppose. I've been a little distracted by things at home. Right. Okay. It seems like what you've got on your hands is a broad range curse. Likely nothing your husband did. He probably just got caught in the vengeance crossfire, as it were. So what do we do? Well, there's a particular sorceress that's known for this type of curse. Typically, she targets rude and unpleasant people. Is there anyone who fits that description where your husband works? Well, the prince he works for, he's a bit of a royal brat, begging your pardon, but he's only 10. Oh, that wouldn't stop this sorceress. Luckily, the way to break her curse is true love every time. So what, we just wait for the prince to fall in love? And for someone to love him in, re in return. But he's 10. Mm, this could take some time. I, I think your best bet is probably to make sure the prince meets as many people as possible over the next few years, just to ensure he doesn't miss meeting his true love. Couldn't we just ask the sorcerers to end the curse? Like, she didn't mean to punish my poor husband just on account of his boss. I wouldn't advise confronting the sorceress, ma'am, unless you'd like to try life as an enchanted mop. I think I'll try it, all the same. Okay, good luck, and um, if, if someone offers you a rose, uh, make sure you compliment them on it, okay? Oh, sure, anything you say. I'm not sure she believed me about the rose. That was crucial advice, too. Well, you can't win them all, and your batting average is still better than mine. Well, here's your chance. Batter up. Good evening. You've reached the Nottingham Sheriff's non-emergency line. Yes, I am the president of the Sherwood Forest Beautification Committee, and I'm calling to report some truly appalling vandalism. Truly, truly appalling. Okay, well, you've called the right number for sure. Not only can I connect with the deputy to look into catching the perpetrators, but I can also organize a volunteer crew to address the damage. You can. Oh, yes. We've got folks that are great at scrubbing off or covering up graffiti. But this damage is irreparable. I'm sure it's nothing. A little elbow grease or a pinch of fairy dust can you handle. can't just elbow grease flowers back to life. Green things have to be nurtured. And, and, and encouraged. It takes time and patience and dedication and all that work was undone in moments by thoughtless hooligans. Right. Are you by chance calling about the gang that was painting roses red? Painting roses? No. My flowers weren't painted. They were plucked. Well, that's actually good news for you. Turns out the flower painters were taking orders from some mad queen and the sheriff's official position is that they look better covered in paint. And actually that's not vandalism. Plucking though, we may be able to help you with. Where exactly did the damage occur? Um, near the Southern border of the forest along Grimm's tra trail, just off. Just off the path? Yes. Ah, we've had several reports in that area. Seems there's a girl there who's been picking flowers to bring to her grandmother. I didn't call for some sob story about a sick granny. Then I don't suppose you want to hear about the wolf dressed in drag to try and eat her. No, I just want my flowers back. Okay, I can understand that. Now, this isn't official advice, of course. But what you're going to want to do is contact a wood sprite. Or if you're feeling daring, you can try your luck with a pixie. And where would I find? Well, this you definitely did not hear from me. But there's been reports of sprites in Zuckwick Lagoon. It's a place to start. And not more than an hour's brisk walking from the southern side of the forest. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, Riley, I'm starting to get the hang of your Susie Sunshine routine. I might make it through this shift after all, thanks to you. What was...
freeze, punks. Debbie Banks, what are you? I said freeze. Settle down, Banks. But Sheriff. I said can it. What? What brings you here, Sheriff? Oh, there's been some complaints. About calls tonight? Because, you know, I can tell you right now that... I the calls so much. Hey, don't move. I wasn't. Not you, the other one. What, Riley? That's who we're here for. You can't be. All Riley ever does is help people. Tell them, Riley. That's the goal. Oh, we've got reports about the sort of helpful that you've been. Here's a clue. It's the bad sort of helpful. What's that supposed to mean? You know, like the bad sort, like helping people you shouldn't. I mean, it's literally our job to help whoever calls in. This is different. Nobody Riley has been accused of aiding and abetting the notorious outlaw Robin Hood. That's ridiculous. Riley, tell them that... What are you... Step away from the window. Careful, Sam. Watch out for the glass. You mean the window shards you broke? All right, Riley. This has gone far enough. You need to come out quietly before someone gets hurt. I can't do that, Sheriff. The work I do, the work we do, is too important. We take from the rich and get to the poor. We feed those who can't feed themselves. We are the balance. No! No! Oh, and? Landed in the pond. So? Your buddy Riley is officially a known associate of the wanted criminal Robin Hood and an enemy of the crown. And I thought I was having a bad shift. Looks like there's still time for your shift to get worse. Suddenly going out the window seems like a reasonable option. Good evening, Nottingham Sheriff's Department non-emergency line. How can I help you tonight?